youth are full of dreams. With dreams come new ideas and new ways of thinking. They are less inhibited about thinking. The hope of our society rests in how well we prepare our youth to take over. There was a considerable amount of potential talent in the STEM-related fields that was going untapped, particularly for those students attending schools in underserved communities. The Accelerated Learning Academy is a STEM program for 10th and 11th graders. Essentially, students get to choose what track they want to partake in, whether that's biomedical, engineering and technology, applied mathematics, or medical science. What we try to do is to match the best minds together, the best minds among the professors and researchers with the best minds among the students. We structure activities that will require them to use both the left side of their brains, which deal with critical thinking, and the right side of their brain, which deals with imagination. All of our materials that are used in the workshops are all college level material. More than 60% of the students that we have are straight A students taking honors level classes as well as AP classes. We are interested in students who are beginning to define success in terms of the impact of their God-given talents on the well-being of other people. Johnson & Johnson was very excited to be able to partner with the Accelerated Learning Academy because it's so important that we have a strong pipeline of talent who can solve the world's next challenges. So when Dr. Boone approached us and said, we'd like to create an opportunity where we can bring students back, that was something that we at J&J &J felt we could help with so that those students who wanted to go to a deeper level and increase and continue to quench the thirst and inspire the next tier of great leaders, great discoverers, great scientists in the world. Before I even came to this program, I was very, I guess like introverted, should I say? It was really eye-opening for me the last time I came here. So I guess this time around, I was like, so I get to come back and do it all over again? Like, why not? I was just thrilled for this opportunity to be able to study on an Ivy League campus. A lot of people who are raised in maybe not the best situation at home, they feel like that's it, and they become a product of their surrounding. Being able to come here to Princeton, it's like, oh wow, you feel like you have already accomplished something. If you only see your community, and you only know your community, well how can you help solve the problems that are going on in the rest of the world? Being to, able to come out of that space helps you realize like, the world is bigger than just me and my town. There's, there's a lot going on. Last year, I did the medical track, and by this year, doing the bioengineering track, I'm getting to see a different perspective on STEM that I never got to see before. They're able to interact with some of the leading scientists, leading educators in the world. It has taught me a lot even to communicate with professionals. Like today, sitting down with people that are very successful and having conversations with them. The reason why I wanted to come back was it was just something I can never forget. It was amazing. The people that I was with, I gained a connection with them super quick. It was just a really great way to find people with the same interests as me, from the same background, and who want to learn as much as I do. Among our returning students, I've noticed tremendous growth. They have a broadened mindset on how the world works. They become more confident in what they want to do in the future whether that's college-wise or professionally, they change, and they change for the better. For me, being a second-year participant brought great joy and responsibility. I've met extraordinary people with whom I have built strong relationships. It's a total package, and it's a whole weekend, Friday through Sunday, and you get to like experience everything all at once, so I recommend it to anyone. In the ALA program, I learned the importance of a person like me to fight tooth and nail to achieve my dreams, to challenge the norm and break boundaries that for so long have held so many bright minds back. I feel like for college, I'm ready. I know what to do. I know how to handle myself in situations because I've had so much exposure. They did teach me a lot of lessons. They taught me how to you know, carry myself in a certain way, how to be a better man, a better person. By teaching us that we make a difference and everything that we do matters by contributing to a larger picture, 
you're giving us the best gift that we could ever possibly have, the feeling of importance. Programs like the ALA program with W.E. Du Bois, like things like this is what will help nurture you into what you're meant to be. If we can get the best and the brightest to commit themselves to other people and making the lives of others better and make themselves just a secondary benefit from their own successes. Can you imagine what we can do to change society?